Oh. Snowy the panda can't find the perfect birthday gift for his best friend Maggie. Join their hilarious adventure and discover the true meaning of friendship. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. Snowy the panda was in a bit of a pickle. Today was Maggie's birthday and his heart felt heavier than a giant bamboo stalk. Maggie, his best friend with hair as fluffy as a koala's belly and a smile brighter than a firefly festival, deserved the most spectacular present ever. But Snowy, bless his fuzzy black and white fur, couldn't think of a single thing that wouldn't make her go. Oh, thanks Snowy? He shuffled over to Coco, his koala buddy, who always had his head stuck in a book when he wasn't munching on eucalyptus leaves, that is. Coco, Snowy whimpered, his voice, as droopy as a wilted daisy, my brain feels like a deflated balloon. What should I get Maggie? Coco blinked, his big black eyes, peering over the edge of his book. Hmm, he pondered, scratching his fuzzy ear with a long, sharp claw. Perhaps a book about the fascinating world of eucalyptus farming? Snowy's ears drooped even lower. But Maggie isn't exactly a leaf-munching koala, Coco. Next, they brainstormed a giant, inflatable panda costume. She could be a mini Snowy. Coco exclaimed, his eyes sparkling. But Snowy sighed. Maybe a little too. Me? Panic started to gnaw at Snowy's tummy. He paced around his bamboo hut muttering to himself. Suddenly, Maggie bounced in, her sunshine yellow dress, a burst of happiness in the gloomy hut. Snowy! Coco, she chirped, oblivious to their gift-giving woes. Are we going to have a super splendiferous birthday adventure? Snowy and Coco exchanged a worried glance. Maybe... They were overthinking this whole present business. Maggie's bright eyes sparkled with excitement, not a single worry in sight. Actually, Maggie, Snowy said tentatively, we were wondering if you'd like to go on an adventure with us. Maggie's smile stretched even wider. An adventure? Like a treasure hunt for sparkly cupcakes? Snowy and Coco chuckled. Maybe not cupcakes, Snowy admitted, but definitely an adventure. They spent the day exploring the wonders right outside their doors. They climbed the tallest tree, well as tall as Snowy could manage, and pretended to be brave explorers searching for a hidden jungle. They built a magnificent and slightly wobbly leaf fort in the shade of a giant banyan tree. They even discovered a secret waterfall, hidden amongst the whispering bamboo groves, its cool spray, a delightful surprise on a hot summer day. As the day wound down, Maggie snuggled between Snowy and Coco, her eyes sparkling with the joy of their adventure. That was the most super splendiferous birthday ever. She declared, throwing her arms around their fuzzy necks. Snowy's heart swelled warmer than a freshly baked bamboo bun. He realized, with a happy sigh, that sometimes the best gifts weren't fancy objects at all. It was the laughter shared, the memories made, and the joy of being together with his best friends that truly made Maggie's birthday spectacular. From that day on, Snowy never forgot that the greatest gift of all was the gift of friendship. Congratulations on completing a gift of friendship! Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number 1. Pickle, a difficult or tricky situation. Number 2. Fluffy, soft and light in texture. Number 3. Bless, to bestow good fortune upon someone. Number four, shuffled, walked slowly without lifting the feet. 
Number 5. Whimpered, made a series of low, feeble sounds expressing fear or pain. Number 6. Droopy, hanging down limply. Number 7. Deflated, let the air out of, feeling less confident or less important. Number 8. Blinked, quickly closed and opened the eyes. Number 9. Peering, looking closely or with difficulty. Number 10. Pondered, thought about something carefully. Number 11. Scratching, rubbing or scraping a surface or skin. Number 12. Fascinating, extremely interesting. Number 13. Munching, chewing noisily. Number 14. Drooped, bent or hung down limply. Number 15. Brainstormed, generated ideas through discussion. Number 16. Inflatable, capable of being filled with air. Number 17. Exclaimed, cried out suddenly in surprise or strong emotion. Number 18. Sighed, let out a deep breath to express relief or sadness. Number 19. Panic, sudden uncontrollable fear or anxiety. Number 20. No, chew persistently or worry. Number 21. Tummy, informal term for stomach. Number 22. Paced, walked back and forth repeatedly. Number 23. Muttering, speaking quietly and indistinctly. Number 24. Burst, a sudden outbreak of energy or emotion. Number 25. Gloomy, dark or poorly lit, causing a feeling of depression. Number 26. Chirped, spoke in a cheerful and lively way. Number 27. Oblivious, unaware or not concerned. Number 28. Woes, great sorrow or distress. Number 29. Splendiferous, extremely splendid or impressive. Number 30. Glance, a brief or hurried look. Number 31. Overthinking, thinking about something too much or for too long. Number 32. Sight, the ability to see or something seen. Number 33. Tentatively, in a way that lacks confidence. Number 34. Stretched, made longer or wider without tearing. Number 35. Treasure hunt, a game in which players search for hidden objects. Number 36. Chuckled, laughed quietly or inwardly. Number 37. Admitted, confessed to be true or the case. Number 38. Wonders, things that cause astonishment or admiration. Number 39. Climbed, went up something, usually using hands and feet. Number 40. Manage, succeed in doing something, especially something difficult. Number 41. Pretended, faked or made believe. Number 42. Searching, looking for something. Number 43. Magnificent, extremely beautiful or elaborate. Number 44. Wobbly, unsteady or shaky. Number 45. Secret waterfall, a hidden cascade of water. Number 46. Whispering, speaking softly. Number 47. Groves, small groups of trees. Number 48. Spray, a jet of liquid in the form of tiny drops. Number 49. Delightful, causing delight or pleasure. Number 50. Snuggled, settled or moved into a warm, comfortable position. Number 51. Joy, a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. Number 52. Declared, announced formally or officially. Number 53. Swelled, became larger or rounder in size. Number 54. Warmer, more affectionate or friendly. Number 55. Sigh, emit a long, deep breath expressing sadness, relief, or tiredness. Number 56. Fancy, elaborate or highly decorated. Number 57. Greatest gift of all, the most valuable present or offering. Number 58. Spectacular, beautiful in a dramatic and eye-catching way. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.